Hello and welcome. I've got Charlie in this one. Oh, he's running away. He's running away. I like to move away from the fun fair because uh, they're playing tunes and we don't want copyright problems. You alright, Charlie? So we're now walking down onto Morecambe's main beach. Some people might not call it a beach, but actually it's not too bad. And it's quite uh, surprisingly warm today, it might not look it on the camera. Now we're on the extensive sands. So yeah, I'm going to talk about motivation for the guitar player today. So yes, there might be a bit of wind noise here, so I'll apologise for that in advance. Motivation for the guitar player, yeah. Every guitar player goes through a problem where they don't want to pick up the instrument, just run out of ideas or just fed up with it. My first bit of advice for that is don't pick up the instrument. Don't force yourself to play. If you don't feel like playing, just go and do something else. It might give you an inspiration for some music later on. If you force it, it's never, never right. You usually find a little bit of an absence you'll soon be itching to play it again um, you can spend that time fruitfully though by uh, looking at stuff on youtube or listening to stuff on the usual down oh i'm being attacked right you, you know it's spy and all that um, maybe listen to some albums you haven't listened to for a long time or some players you haven't heard for a while or even try a different style of music that uh, maybe it's not your thing but you might find there's some inspiration in there I can remember Robin Ford saying that uh, he doesn't actually listen to other guitar players he actually listens to uh, some rocks here careful he actually uh, gets his inspiration from listening to some great horn players, trumpet players, etc, brass players and he uh, transfers those into his uh, guitar lines again, same with keyboards, you know Dad, who's he talking about? I'm talking about Robin Ford, a legendary blues player, mate bit, bit, maybe a bit farty for you so let's give him a view of more command any of my subscribers who don't live around Morecambe anywhere, you might want to see the bay. I don't know how much that is picking up. Clock tower. And actually, this bit of beach is actually quite nice now. So yeah, go and listen to something else. If you listen to rock music, go and listen to a bit of jazz. Heaven forbid you might not want to listen to jazz, but try it. Reggae, blues, funk. I like my, my guilty pleasures funk music. I'm just playing along with some of that stuff. I'm in a rut. Uh, there's a band in Australia, amazing bass guitarist called Rebecca Johnson. I love her stuff. Loads of it on YouTube. Love, great fun to play along with. It can get you back in the groove again. So yeah, there's some little ideas. I'm gonna have to hold the camera. This hand there. Another thing is, if, you, if you're lucky to have more than one guitar, one single call and one's humbuckers. You know, you usually play a humbucker. A humbucker is a guitar that's designed to cancel hum. So it's like two single coils. Yeah, well, you asked me and I told you, fella. You usually play the humbuckers. Uh, You've got a single coil guitar, maybe try playing what you play on the humbuckers in the single coil or vice versa. P90 is whatever. Maybe even try playing a different instrument. There is a keyboard. Maybe it's probably a bit windy on here now. We're going to end it because we've got a mama mirrors right by the clock to. So yeah, if there's a keyboard knocking around, maybe have a little bash on that. So I quite like programming drums and sampling bass sounds and that, that's fun as well. There's plenty you can be doing if you're in a book. Oops. 
it's, uh, as I said at the beginning, probably the worst thing you can do is make yourself play. You just usually will lead to anything fruitful. Yeah, so, don't force anything. Don't force yourself. Go and get some inspiration like we're doing now, walking on the beach with a beautiful bay behind us. Right. So yeah. You can only do, if you oh, speaking. What, what if you you're bored, you can just like go out for a walk for like ten minutes. Like we're doing, and you can yeah. get your mind get your mind free oh. again.